What's poppin' y'all? So we are about to hop into a video by The Detail. This one is Lisa Marie Presley speaks candidly, Michael Jackson and their marriage, The Detail. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. And looking back on that experience, what do you say to yourself now? Because we all have done things HD? in our lives and you say, I don't know what I was thinking or I didn't know what I was thinking or that was a great lesson for me. Okay. For me, I don't know. What do you say to yourself? Um, Still looks bad. Holy mother of God. <laughs> In 92? Okay, first of all, wow. I pretty wanted to meet him when I was 18. I didn't want to because I thought he was a freak. Immediately, I didn't want to meet him. I thought he was a freak. So I was like, ugh, I don't want to meet him. And I ended up going, okay, I'll, I'll meet him. My first impression was that he um, went very much out of his way to uh, disillusion me. So he yeah. sat me down and said, I know you think this, and I think that, I know you... And he was completely normal. And I'm not gay. I know you think this. I know you think that. And he started cursing, started, you know, being a normal person. And I was like, wow. And then within 20 minutes, like, I immediately went into, oh, my God, you're not the person I thought you were. Um, you're actually really cool. There was a click. We, we started talking and immediately related to one another. And it just kind of went from there. Because we were born and raised in different situations, uh, different upbringings, I think there was a connection um, on that front. You know? Superstar, superstar. Yeah, just fishbowl life odd oddities, odd different circumstances thing. Still very vulnerable, I have to say. I'd been married and had a baby by the time I was 21 and hadn't really been out there much and didn't know a whole hell of a lot. He's not stupid. He didn't get where he was because he's stupid. It, who it's unfortunate that, that not a lot of people know who he really is. When he wants to mm -hmm. lock into you and he wants to intrigue you or capture you or, you know, whatever he wants it's to do with you, black or white. he can do it. When Michael wants to pull you into his life somehow, he's very good at it. And then at that point, it was sort of a relationship of like, I need to talk. And, and I was sort of like, wow, me? And he's already pulled me in by making me feel like I'm the one he talks to. Then you feel protective. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a mechanism. So I, I kind of fell right into that. Falling in love with Michael in 93. Didn't necessarily think it was going to go romantic, but it did. Um, and, um, you know, uh, seemingly all fine and um, real. I fell into this whole, you poor sweet misunderstood thing, I'm going to save you. You know, I, I fell into that. I fell in love with him. I did. I'm, I, I, in love. Yes, I fell in love at the time. And he, he, he fell in love with me, and I, and I fell in love with him, and it was very real. How did he ask you to marry him? Um, we were in the library in front of the fire, and he, he pulled this giant 10-carat diamond out of his pocket and um, put it on my finger. Mm -hmm. I think he got on his knees as, as well and proposed. Um, I felt like it was the so right, I should do that because it seemed more maybe that's what I should be doing instead of um, taking these dear souls and making them feel like they're nothing. Because he wasn't going to be bothered that you were a Presley. Right. I he kind was of, a Jackson. Right. So in my mind at the time, I'm thinking, I'll marry, I'll marry somebody who's even bigger or as big or whatever than I am, and then I can actually feel like a wife. I can be next to the man and I can feel more comfortable that way. I wasn't seeking publicity myself. Mm -hmm. I was kind of looking to feel like I can support somebody else that I admired. I wanted somebody comparable. Somehow along the way I decided that was a solution. I thought, okay, I'll get with somebody even bigger than I am and then I won't have to have those problems anymore. Were people questioning your relationship with him from start? I mean, your friends and your mom? Yeah, people weren't really into that one. I mean, they were trying to, you know say certain things about it, but I, I, you know, I needed to figure it out on my own. Because he was writing this sex abuse scandal yes. and things. So what yeah. did people say to you? Um, mostly my mom was just like, you know, look at the timing of this and don't be stupid. She married the biggest star of her time. You were going to marry the biggest music star of your time. And I don't think it was that premeditated. I knew she really didn't want me to do that, and I, I, I understand. <laughs> At that time, I was still kind of in that mode. It was just her reaction <clears throat> to my even dating him. It was like, you know, <clears throat> typical mother-daughter, like, oh, you don't like him? Good. He's going to be my husband. She called <laughs> me and said, there are, you know, oh, Lisa, there's helicopters outside the house, and they're saying you married Michael Jackson. <laughs> and I, rebellion. I go, I was just quiet. <laughs> and she goes, you didn't. She goes, you didn't. Honestly, oh, we getting all don't like attention business. on me. Loved being next to him and taking care of him. I was on such a high doing that. 
am not lying when I say that. He had something so intoxicating mm -hmm. about him. And when he was on and when he was ready to share with you or give mm -hmm. it to you and be himself and allow you to come in, I don't know if I've ever been that intoxicated by anything. Mm -hmm. And you did live together? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's just put it this way. If he was in town, he was at my house. I have to ask you this. Was it a consummated uh, marriage? Oh, my God, Oprah. I have to ask you that question. What? <laughs> and you all know damn well you want to know. I'm sorry. I mean, it was consummated? a real marriage I have to look this like word between up. husband and wife. Yeah. It was a consummated. Give me the definition of consummated. Make a marriage or relationship complete by having sexual intercourse. Complete. I wasn't done reading. It just closed by itself. But girl, Oprah, girl, you you all up in the business, ain't you? All in the Kool-Aid. Yep, it was. Okay, that's all. Sexual attraction? I, I told hell? you, everything I said was the truth. What about the way he looks? <laughs> I, I told you, see, now I, I'm not attracted to mediocrity or normalcy or things like that. I think certain things are, uh, I'm weird. I don't know, I'm whacked. So these were like romantic nights? Mm-hmm, yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember them very well, but yes. I mean, it was normal. I wasn't gonna get married if it wasn't that. I even remember thinking, how is that gonna happen? You know, I can't even imagine him like that, whatever. And then he quickly disillusioned me of that idea. I honestly can tell you that it was in, it was every sense a normal marriage and everything was spoken. And, you know, in the middle of the night, if he needed to wake up and tell me and, and bounce something off me, and I loved taking care of him. It was my, it was the highest point of my life, one of the very highest points of my life was when things were going really well and he and I were united together and he and I had an understanding about some of the people and the things that could go around him. Mm -hmm. um, and he was with me on those things and we were, we were a unit. When you have that situation, then you have its drawbacks, which is, you know, entourage is people. I didn't like the attention. It was like a, I mean, it was a shit storm. I mean, I couldn't go anywhere. He needed, he needed to do his thing. I would be there uncomfortably, like the MTV mm -hmm. thing. And I heard about it last minute. All I could think about was, you know, 10,000 people right in front of me and... Wow. Holy He really showed her off I, I literally I made his hand blue. I was squeezing it so hard. I was already neurotic that I even had to walk on stage and not say anything in the first place. So I was like, I, I can't, don't, please, do we have to do that? You know, it was just, it's not in my nature to do that sort of thing. What a Diane Sawyer interview of you and Michael. Mm -hmm. Was that weird? Yeah, that was a little strange. It was very strange. I mean, I, I was a nervous wreck, so. Did you regret doing that? I did after, uh, it was a little disturbing, startling. <laughs> I think this is what y'all wanted me to react to, and I was that thinking, interview. I don't ever want to get into a, a, a custody battle with him. I don't want to do this. I don't mm -hmm. want to go head to head with him. So I need to make sure that everything around is good. I, I've had, I had children. I knew mm -hmm. bringing children into certain circumstances, you have to make sure everything's safe and secured mm -hmm. and okay. And I wanted to make sure that he and I were really, really united because we were going to be up against so much. I do think that there was an agenda there too, though, because I think he wanted children and he wanted her children. Ah. Oh. Mother, what are you doing right now? <laughs> he would tell me. He would come tell me. If you're not going to do it, Debbie said she'll do it. So we would get into it, you know, arguments. What about him and drugs? You are you, you I never saw it, it but I suspect it. I don't know, though. Because there's been talk about painkillers all the way through. Um, you know, it's funny because I, I don't, I never saw it, so I can't answer. Did you suspect a drug problem? Honestly, uh, I didn't really suspect and catch on. You know, there was just an occasion, an incident where he had <laughs> collapsed mm -hmm. and he was in the hospital. This is during the HBO. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was very confusing what was wrong because every day there was a different report and I couldn't tell what was happening. Dehydration, low blood pressure, um, exhaustion, a virus. So I couldn't really get a straight answer as to what was happening with him. At that point, I think I really, I got from various uh, indications, I, I believed that that was going on then. 
How did it end? What happened? It just kind of went really sour really fast. It sort of started to just dwindle wow. out of control and it went to hell in a handbasket, basically. Yeah. Um, there was a very profound point in the marriage when he had to make a decision. Was it the drugs and the, and the sort of vampires or me? And he pushed me away. Vampires? Spiders, vampires. Um, Sycophant, sucking his blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. So you saw that all around him? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. But you filed for divorce from Michael? Yes. And how did you tell him that was it? Um, it was when he was, you know, I was over the phone. I'd had enough. There was a lot of stuff going on then. <sighs> it got really ugly at the end. It wasn't pretty. I left him to put in my, f to sort of stomp my foot into the ground and go. I, I was trying to take a stand and say, come with me, don't do this. Mm -hmm. And I was a stupid move, because he didn't. Did he fight your getting a divorce? No, he, I think he got on to, you know, getting a, somebody else pregnant, right? Or having a baby, <laughs> that's what he wanted. Oh! He seemed to get on that pretty quick. You know, I don't know. You know, I oh. got out and then four days later, started having chronic panic attacks and just my body just I remember out that lady head, you know yeah I was pretty much needed to be mopped up off the floor after that one <laughs> I was quiet for about a year and I fell apart physically for a while so I went through this whole series of just body falling apart you know stress the gallbladder just went to zero function I had to get it taken out oh, I had mono and Epstein-Barr and that was like just fever that wouldn't go away and really ill. God, so much. Because it took me a good two years to come out of that, you know. And I mean physically, mentally. I really had to, um, I went through a lot to, to remove myself out of that, you know. Because you sort of fall into a way of thinking and existing mm -hmm. when you're in that bubble. Mm -hmm. And it took me a long time to detach myself. We, again, were going to get back together. For, we spent four more years after we divorced really? getting back together and breaking up and talking about getting back together and breaking up and and at some point I had to push it away because it was just not I wasn't moving forward in, with myself you you said you loved him yes. you think he loved you wow um god it's hard for me to, to answer that question huh? I don't know um the answer to that to do you, you think that he loved you as much as he could yes that, yes. As much as he was capable of loving somebody um, and all that, yes. You know, and, and for whatever reason in my life, I had to go through that. And I don't know um, why I had to go through that, but I did. And I got through it and, you know. But I have to say in retrospect that he honestly tried so hard and went through so much with me. And I know now when I look back at it, he's never done that with any other female or anyone. I really admire that he really gave it a good shot. You know, I didn't appreciate it then, and I wish I did. It seemed like he really loved her. The later years. It sort of stigmatized me, you know, uh, without my knowing about it. So I regret that. I gotta ask you about Michael Jackson. I'm not gonna answer, though. You're sick of being asked about that, I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. I'll bet you yeah. are. Well, I'll bet no you. more discussion about him. Okay. Nicholas Cage. Because I'm always Stop asking associated about my with that. You know, everything's about that. You were married to Michael Jackson. That's, That's like mean. the biggest, you know. And it turned me into a freak. As for Michael's current controversy fueled by the British documentary. That was a train wreck, you know. Lisa Marie says she never saw any inappropriate behavior. If I had seen anything, believe me, his ass would have been hanging from a tree. So, <laughs> I don't know. No, I never saw anything like that. Now, I don't know what's happening lately with him. I really don't. I hope he clears it up. Uh, coherently Good Conversation was in 2005. Um, it was a very long conversation. Please keep your head together, please. If this goes to trial, please hold it together. And he said, what are you talking about? What do you mean? And I said, he said, you mean drugs? I said, yes. Because all I saw, you know, there was a few year period there where he was, random things were coming out, whether it was a Martin Bashir interview or mm -hmm. various interviews. And in those interviews, I saw him intoxicated. I didn't see Michael that I knew in that Martin Bashir interview. I saw, I, he was high as a kite from what I saw and really? from what I knew. Really? He was either too speedy or he was sedated. It wasn't the Michael that I knew. And he asked if I still loved him. And we went into a whole thing about that and I told him I was indifferent and he didn't like that word. And he cried. And then the final part of the conversation was him uh, telling me that he felt that um, that someone was going to try and kill him to get a hold of his catalog and his his estate.
Lisa Marie says she and the Jackson family spent years trying to save Michael from self-destructive behavior. She claims it left her emotionally and spiritually exhausted, but she writes, as I sit here overwhelmed with sadness, reflection, and confusion at what was my biggest failure to date, watching on the news almost play-by-play -play the exact scenario I saw happen on August 16th, 1977, happening again right now with Michael, what? a sight I never wanted to see again, just as he predicted. I am truly gutted. Uh, Lisa Marie Presley coming out and giving some uh, giving some statements that she put up on her MySpace page, and I thought this was interesting because some you know many people had speculated for years that their marriage was a sham. Yeah, this is a very interesting look inside Michael Jackson. He looked at Lisa Marie Presley at one point and said, and I quote, "I'm afraid that I'm going to end up like him." Um, Michael was always asking you about your father. Yes, mm -hmm. and he said, "I feel like I'm going to end up the same way." And did you say why? Yeah. I was like, what are you talking about? And I, I don't understand. Down to the play-by-play-by-play -by -play -by -play incident was identical. The one thing that correlates with, with Michael and with my father on this subject is that they had the luxury of creating whatever reality around them they wanted to create. They could have the kinds of people who were going to go with their program or not go with their program. And if they weren't, then they could be disposed of. Mm -hmm. They it's didn't... the reality of being a god in your own world. Right. Yeah. When it's this unusual reality in an ivory tower and this godlike life mixed with an addiction, that's when you get into trouble. Oh, this is crazy. Like, I remember hearing about all this shit when I was little, but I'm saying like a baby, like little, little. Like, I don't remember everything, but I remember seeing and hearing like all this shit on the news and the interviews and stuff. And now that I'm watching it, like, as an adult and I'm understanding, you know, what what is going on, these interviewers and these interviews that she had with these different people are so fucking weird. Like, they just talk about him, and I'm talking about the interviewer, like the, the person that's doing the interview, I should say. They, they talk about him like he's just not a regular person, like asking about sex and, and how he was and this that and the third and was he affectionate and loving and was he this that i'm like what the hell do you think he was an alien like i don't know it's just weird as fuck to me and then i just noticed too also like i've never seen him do like interviews about her like you know anything negative like i just never seen or heard him do interviews unless i haven't seen it yet but yeah they seem like it seemed like she wanted to protect him and it's just sad that their relationship ended the way that it did so quickly like that. But yeah, I really don't have much to say about this, but the interviewers, the people that interviewed her are just fucking weird. Like the questions were weird as hell. Like where do they, <laughs> where do they come up with the shit? Seriously, like where do they come up with these interview questions? That's see, that's why they be getting snapped on and cussed out because of shit like that. But. Yeah, y'all. That was my reaction to this video. I really don't have much to say. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!